Hey everybody, Jason here, long time no see. I'm just kidding, it was actually like yesterday. I am working on an iPhone 10. This iPhone 10 was sent here because it had non-working, let's see, what, what did this guy actually say about this device? I'm gonna read this out loud word for word. It says, uh, I have an iPhone X that has a board issue where the camera's flashlight and face ID no longer work. I was wondering if it would be possible for you to have to repair this issue, let me know, thanks. So. Genuine request, I automatically assumed it was liquid damage because most spontaneous face ID failures are either liquid damage or like a, a slap. Um, but I'm not sure that's what the case is. Let's have a look at this phone. Uh, here we are under the microscope. One of the things that I noticed right off the bat, I mean like immediately, is these boards down here seeming like they are not lined up. Uh, it sort of drives me a little bit nuts. I'm worried that it could have been heated up to the point of floating. Um, the cables, I don't see any immediate tearing here in some of our Flex ID cables. I mean, they could be like excessively creased. Uh, so I'm not seeing anything too crazy wrong with um, Touch ID here. I mean, it does look like, or I mean, Face ID. Have I been saying Touch ID? I mean, Face ID. I don't see any immediate corrosion here on this pile of garbage. But what I do see, if we look at this screw hole here, I mean, would you just look at it? Sometimes you just gotta look at it. Now, is it just me or does this screw hole tighten up my microscope here? Does this screw hole look thoroughly pounded? I mean, is this down like, this is what this screw hole looks like, okay? It sort of looks like it hit the top layer and then maybe chunked off a little below it or something. It almost looks like it went like completely through the board, okay? Here is an iPhone 10 board that has not had that screw hole pounded. And as you will see down inside that screw hole, it's just a nice, smooth, flat, buttery, smooth PCB. Back to our customer's board, and you will see rapage. Now, I've got this hunch that this puncture wound goes all the way through the board, and that this is going to wind up being a no-fix, but let's see. I'm going to go ahead and take the board out of it. I'm going to remove the... I'm going to take apart the sandwich, and then we're going to see... see what we get. See what's in there. I bet you there is a protruding a convex, protruding convex screw head shaped like popping out of the bottom of the board. So, oh, humidity making it impossible to put gloves on. Holy crap. And a shit. Let's get the board out of this thing. Looks like we're missing our bottom retaining thing. Look at this. I only had to remove one screw. Holy crap. So although this guy looks to have sent me something that could be seriously mutilated, I only had to remove one screw, well plus the penelopes, to get in it. It did not have a uh, it did not have a retaining bracket over the display cables. Now, let's find out right off the bat if this board has in fact been separated. The microscope is hard to lie to. Okay, that's unplugged. What's up? Oh, SIM tray. Don't forget the SIM tray. Mofo. Let's try again, shall we? But it lifts right up. Yeah, so we still got we still got the sticker down here on this end of it, but this adhesive sticker up here toward the top of the board, it is gone. Let's get it under the microscope, shall we? And let's just see. Hey Google, turn on more light. That's maybe a little better. And let's just see what this looks like. You know, it looks shockingly flat. Yeah, it looks very much flat. I cannot say that this board has been separated before. Oh, 
let's see. All right, this customer says uh, flashlight, face ID, and cameras. So no cameras, no flashlight, and no face ID. And man, oh man, I am really hung up on how deep this hole is, guys. I mean, is it deep enough to have went all the way through the board? Dear God, it is absolutely deep enough to have went all the way through the board. Can you see that? You know, it's easy enough to take these boards apart and look at them. Should I just take it apart and look at it? I bet we've got a protruding bubble on the bottom of this top board. <laughs> should I just take it apart and look at it? I should just take it apart and look at it, right? Seriously? All right, let's take it apart and look at it. There we are. There's the board. Today we're going to be using my new preheater here that I got from Union Repair. Uh, I really... Heck, I, I don't have much to say about this thing. I, I really like it. Now, I don't use the clamper thing on top too much. I just use the actual heater part of it. So let's go ahead. We're going to put this board in a heater. There we go. Clamp it down nice and firm. We are going to slice our little sticker here. There we go. And now we're going to thread us in a handle to grab a hold of to take this board apart. There we go. So we've got this thing on the board heater. The next thing I'm going to do is turn the power on. Now, I'm not really sure where I should be setting this thing. Basically, I set it around 200. I think I had it on 210. And then I'm going to let this thing warm up. <laughs> Look at this. Here's my screw pad for taking this phone apart. Two Pentelub screws and a single screw. How about that? Huh? Perfect. At least if it's a uh, no fix, which I think it's going to be. I won't have a lot of work to do putting it back together. I think we're going to find out this is caused by serious long screw damage. So while this heats up, uh, what did the rest of this ticket say? Let's see. Here's my response to what he said. I said, sorry to keep you waiting because I was freaking behind. I'm a one man show right now. Unfortunately, we are typically not able to repair face ID issues. Although I don't think we have good odds of success, I would still be happy to have a look because I'm an idiot. If successful, we would charge blah, 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 blah. I'm not going to say the price in the video because one day the price might change. And uh, he opted to send it in. Now, what I should have said was, I may be able to repair your cameras, but chances are I'm not going to be able to repair Face ID. Now, sometimes I can repair Face ID, but the odds are higher that I could repair the cameras, but then fail on Face ID. And what if I spend a bunch of time fixing cameras, fail on Face ID, and then now I've got a customer that doesn't want to pay the bill because I didn't fix it. So here we are. Okay, we should be just about heated up here. Now what I like to do is I like to just kind of poke around and look for the board to be molten. We're not quite there yet. We are almost there, boy. We're melted back here. We're melted at the tongue. It seems I'm just waiting on this spot right here. All right, she's free all the way around. Now we're ready to just simply pick this thing up. Hmm. Boy, I like my other board holder better. I'm actually burning my finger back here while I'm trying to get some stability by resting it on the, the platform. All right, here we go. One. All right, here we go. One, two, three. Boop. Off she goes. All right, so we'll turn our board heater off. Let this thing start cooling down. Now... I don't think we really have any electrical issues going on inside the board. Um, it does look like somebody has like heated it or something, judging by what it, you know, what it looks like under the stickers and stuff. But what I really want to see here is our protruding screw hole under the microscope. I think I can see it with my eyes, guys. Let's have a, gosh, it's giving me anxiety. Let's have a look at it under the microscope. So here is this side of the board. Here is the top part of the board. Yeah, you can see that it's been thoroughly pounded. And then if you look at the bottom of the board, look, it's actually pushing 
Oh, for the love of God, look at it. It's actually pushing components off the board. Oh, that is lovely. And guess who's not fixing this today, guys? Yes, I know the customer says the cameras, the flash, and the, what was it, face ID don't work. But just look at how many layers this board has, okay? Let's see if we can see it on this board as well as I can see it on previous models. If you look at the edge of this board under magnification, look at how many layers we're dealing with here. I don't even, I'm not going to try to count them because I can't count past four. But just look at how many layers are here. And then imagine right down here where the screw came through. You know, just imagine how many traces that cut, man. So, yeah, 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 yeah. We probably have non-working face ID and cameras and stuff, but no way in hell. I fix a lot of stuff, but I won't get in and fix a puncture wound all the way through the board. Um, maybe there's nothing there to be worried about. Maybe my comments are going to be filled up with people saying, you should have fixed that one. But maybe I'm not going to fix this one, guys. That is going to be the end of this video. I'm going to put this phone back together exactly like it was whenever it first came in here. But there are limits as to what I am willing to attempt to fix. And maybe we can run jumpers around it and, and figure out all the different broken connections. But I'm trying to feed my family, guys. So anyways, that's going to be the end of this video. I do hope you learn not to put a long screw in that hole. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good day.